Rivalry between Illinois and Northwestern, two teams like much of the Big Ten, coming off losses in the Big Ten ACC Challenge, first conference game in the Big Ten ever for Brad Underwood as the head man at Illinois. Just under four minutes to go in the first half. Mark Allstork with a lob inside to LaRon Black. That's high percentage. Illinois up by four. A couple minutes later, Cats down by three. Really sloppy first half all around. 20 combined field goals, 20 combined turnovers. That, one of the good moments for Northwestern as Brian McIntosh knocks down the wing three to tie it at 30 all. Allstork then driving. Late Illinois run. Puts the Illini up 36-32 at the break. Second half, about 13 minutes to go. Aaron Jordan in the corner for three. Two of three, 10 points, but just three shots. Jordan has been hitting everything he's been making, just hasn't taken enough shots as of late for the Illini. Under 10 to play. It's a three-point Illinois lead. McIntosh, shooter's roll, would complete the three-point play to tie this thing up at 49. Northwestern now down by two. Derek Pardon ties it up. Nice look inside from BMAC. Under seven to go. Cats still down by four. At this point, neither team had led by more than four points at any point in the second half. Scotty Lindsay backs down his man and makes the tough jumper, and then it's McIntosh for three of his four teams. Still Northwestern down by one. Under five to go. Nice backdoor cut. That's Northwestern basketball for you right there. Scotty Lindsay, beautiful thing. Northwestern down one. Brad Underwood doesn't like what he sees. Vic Law drains the three. We would go to overtime tied at 63. Northwestern now up by one. Make it a four-point lead. Deep three. Scotty Lindsay had 22, and then Isaiah Brown gets into the act. Cats up by a deuce. Illini down 68-66. Tijon Lucas, nice drive and finish. NU takes the lead at the line. 70-68 game. One last chance for the Illini, but Lucas is rejected by Derek Parton as Northwestern adds a couple of freebies at the end, and the Wildcats hold on to win. 72-68, much-needed win for a Northwestern team which had already suffered three losses on the season as for illinois after that 6-0 start now consecutive losses wake forest and now northwestern and you head coach chris collins standing by with john crispin first and we get one of these just tell me about how good it feels to walk away with a win i can't believe we're playing conference games this time of year but there's a heck of a game i mean illinois they're really hard to play against they deny every pass they come at you in waves you just got to make plays. You know, we weren't able to run our offense, but we had guys foul out. How about Isaiah Brown? It's a big jot, makes two big free throws, and we finally got a couple stops on Lucas at the end when we needed him. There's been some questions in terms of the intensity, the sense of urgency, going to the NCAA tournament last year and the expectation. What do you learn from your team tonight? Well, we're a work in progress, but I saw a lot of fight. And as long as we fight like this and we prepare every game, I, I like where we're going to be out. You had a different starting lineup tonight. Do you stick with that type of starting lineup where you have some some of that scoring coming off of the bench? Well, let me enjoy this one no, first, no. and then we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We got our hands full at West Lafayette Sunday, but I was really proud of Scotty Lindsay. You know, yeah. coming off the bench, he had a tough game at Georgia Tech. He showed what he was all about with his character tonight with a big time performance. All right, thanks, Chris. We'll see you down at Mackey. Thank you.